Hi everyone. In this session, we will see how you can encode a Turing machine. So the aim of uh, devising this encoding is you are going to convert the entire Turing machine to a binary code and then this binary code can be given as input to some other Turing machine. So we will see about something called as universal Turing machine. This will accept the coding of a Turing machine itself and the input it accepts and then it will check whether the given input is accepted by the Turing machine, given Turing machine or not. So a Turing, a universal Turing machine takes this input, the binary code of a Turing machine and the language or the string it accepts. So we need to convert this Turing machine into <coughs> its equivalent binary code. For that, all the transitions of a Turing machine are converted into in terms of zeros and ones. Since we say this binary, we convert it in terms of zeros and ones. So the methodology that we will follow for this conversion of the transitions of a Turing machine. Transition I mean here, delta of q1 comma a is equal to q3 comma x comma l. That is one transition of a Turing machine. How can we convert this entire transition in terms of zeros and ones is what we are going to see now. So from this point forward, we will see the methods for encoding a Turing machine. So we know that a Turing machine is represented by the seven triple notation Q sigma gamma delta Q naught B and F. So Q is the set of all states, sigma is the input symbol and then gamma is the tape symbol. Delta is defined as uh, a double and the output of the delta will be a triplet and Q naught is a starting state which is one among the state in Q, B is a blank simple and F is a set of one or more accepting states. Okay, here we are given this transition, uh, the transitions of the Turing machine will be defined, right? So here in the transi transition, we will have the components as state, the input symbol and to which state we move and again how the input symbol is rewritten in the tape and the, the direction. So on the whole, we will have the states, the tape symbols and the direction. Okay, so these three components, the state, the tape symbols and the direction has to be given some ordering from one to some numbers. Okay, the states are named from Q1, Q2 up to some numbers. So we have the starting state should always be Q1 followed by the other states. And the tape symbols are named from X1, X2 up to Xm. Always zero is given the number x1, 1 is given the number x2 and blank is given the number x3. And then whatever other state symbols that occur, they are given the numbering from x4 to so on. And we have two directions, left and right. Left is given the number d1 and right is given the number d2. So this is the ordering that we will be, we will be following for encoding of this Turing machine that we will see now. Now, when you take one single transition, delta of qi comma xj is equal to qk comma xl comma dm. So here, this i, j, k, l and m are some integers that was obtained using the methods given in the previous slide. What we have to do is, we are going to convert this transition to an equivalent binary code by using this rule 0 power i. Since it is qi, I write 0 power i, then a separator 1, 0 power j, again a separator 1, 0 power k, a separator 1, 0 power l, a separator 1, and 0 power m. So which means I have number of zeros as of this index or subscript is concerned. And each of these components in the Turing machine is separated by a single one. So qi, a single one xj, a single one qk, a single one xl, a single one and a dm. Okay. So as you can see, um, these zeros are separated by single ones and there is no way in which there will be more than one ones consecutively. We will have only a single one. 
So this is the transition for a single, this is a coding for a single transition. So likewise, a Turing machine will have number of transitions and each of these transitions are separated by double ones. So this is for one transition, I'll have one, double one and second transition, double one and third transition and so on. Up to how many transitions you have, that many number of double ones will be intermediate among these transitions. Okay, so if the CI is or the transition, then we have C1, double one C2, double one C3 and so on. Let us look into this example. We have a Turing machine and the representation of the Turing machine is specified here. There are three states Q1, Q2 and Q3. The input symbols are 0 and 1 and the tape symbols are the same input symbol 0, 1 and the blank symbol. Delta is the transition which is defined. We have four transitions for four transitions defined for this here. Delta of Q1, 1 is equal to Q3, 0, R and so on up to four transitions defined for this delta. And here Q1 is the starting state and initially we have blank simple and Q2 is the final state. And here, since the states are numbered from 1, Q1, Q2, Q3, we don't need to renumber the states here. And the tape symbols are numbered from 0 as x1, 1 as x2, and b as x3. And we have two directions, L and D, L and R. L is referred as D1 and R is referred as D2. Now we can we can take the first transition given delta of q1 comma 1 is equal to q3 comma 0 comma r. So since the states are numbered from q1, it will be same as q1. What is x1? What is 1? It is x1. q3 same as q3, 0 is x2, and r is d2. So we will rewrite this q1 comma x2 is equal to q3. For 0, we can write it as x1 and for r, we can write it as d2. Here, the value of i is 1, j is 2, k is 3, l is 1 and m is 2. So, we will write 0 power 1, 1, 0 power 2, 1, 0 power 3, 1, 0 power 1, 1 and 0 power 2. So, all these are i, j, k up to m. We can expand this. Single 0, 1 and double 0, 1, triple 0, 1, single 0, 1 and double 0. So this will be the transition for, uh, this will be the equivalent code for the first transition. Similarly, for the second transition, Q3, 0 is equal to Q1, 1, R. So we can rewrite it as Q3, X1 is equal to Q1, X2, D2. Okay. Now we have to find out what is I j, k, l and m and correspondingly write the code for c2. Okay. Again the same is repeated for c3 and also for c4. So now that we have the binary representation of all the codes for each of the transition, the next step is to combine all these transition. So the code for the entire Turing machine will be C1, double one C2, double one C3, double one C4. So this is, all these will constitute the first transition C1 and then this is C2 followed by C3 followed by C4. So the entire transition is now represented as a combination of zeros and ones. So this entire code is for a given Turing machine. So we can also represent a Turing machine and a corresponding string it accepts by using a three ones. So for this entire thing, 
this is a Turing machine coding, encoding, right? I can have three ones here followed by what is the input that it accepts. If the input it accepts is say for example 0011, then I can have all these binary representation followed by 31 followed by 0011. So that will be the entire Turing machine code for this M comma W combination. So what is M? M is the Turing machine. What is W? The input accepted by this corresponding M. So like this we can encode a given Turing machine. Thank you.